And amidst talk of a potential strikes, K2 is on your side tonight, digging deeper into potential root causes of discord between Salem-Kaiser Public Schools and its teachers' union. Throughout the, uh, the bargaining process, both teachers and the district have said that the state does not put enough funding into its schools. K2 Stun Varma talked to lawmakers on both sides of the aisle to get their take on the issue of school funding from the state. And Thunvi, you asked lawmakers if they agree it with the union and teachers about the need for more funding. What they say? Very in short, they said not yet. Basically, they want more information and research before diving into specifics. But we did push further about what that research could look like. If you talk to Salem-Kaiser educators who may choose to strike, and if you talk to the district, they agree on one thing. We need more funding for our schools. They're, we're providing all kinds of services beyond just teaching, and we're only funded for just teaching. This is very much driven by the problems in the state funding formula. We took their grievance to Republican Representative Kevin Mannix. Mannix represents District 21, home of Salem-Kaiser Schools. The district has said that the legislature is at fault for not giving them enough funding. Do you agree with that? We provided the Salem-Kaiser School District with more money than they have ever gotten before. And we've done that for every school district in the state. Representative Mannix says he's not sure about increasing funding even more at this time, but he's open to change. The problem is that the formula may need to be changed in terms of how the dollars are calculated based on the needs of the students. He gave us an example of how that could work. There are students who are, how do we put this? They have physical limitations and physical needs that are well beyond what you would normally expect a school district to be able to handle. And when you have to have a student in a separate classroom uh, attended by an individual teacher or two or with assistance, you're spending a lot of money on that individual student. And we need to see whether or not that's really education money that should be spent or whether it's health care money that ought to be spent. On the other side of the aisle, we have Democrat and Senate Education Committee Chair Michael Dembrow. He wasn't available for an interview, but he did share that he and his colleagues are working on figuring out the funding needs of K-12 through schools and that they'll have a more clear picture before coming back into session next February. The next legislative session begins in February. In the meantime, both Mannix and Dembrow say school districts will have to make do with the funding that they have. At the Live Desk, Thunvi Verma, K2 News. All right, good information, Thunvi. Thank you.